these creatures require our absence to survive, not our help. And if we could only step aside and trust in nature, life will find a way. Dr. Grant, I give you the resonating chamber of a Velociraptor. Oh. This is brilliant, Billy. Really, it is. Sad to say, I'm gonna have to back up in four weeks. Dr. Grant, Paul Kirby, Kirby Enterprises. Amanda and I just love the outdoors. Heck, we've been on just about every adventure tour they can come up with. I've chartered an airplane to fly us over Isla Sorna, and we'd like you to be our guide. And of course, we'd love to make a contribution to your research here. Break me when we get there. Unidentified aircraft approaching East Sorna. You are flying in restricted airspace. I think they're looking for someone. Eric! What are they doing? They're setting up a perimeter to make the place safe. Here on this island, there is no such thing Eric! as safe. We have to get back on that plane. Will you tell your wife to stop making that noise? That is a very, very bad idea. What about the other guy? Cooper's a professional. He can handle himself. You did some explaining, Mr. Kirby. You let a 12-year-old go parasailing alone? No! He was with a friend of mine. Ben Hildebrand. How long have they been missing? Eight weeks. Almost eight weeks. So why me? He said we needed someone who'd been on the island before. I have never been on this island. Sure you have. That was Isla Nublar. This is Isla Sorna. Site B. Nobody move a muscle. No such thing as Kirby Enterprises. It's Kirby Paint and Tile Plus. 
Plus stands for bathroom fixtures. Um, we're in the Westgate Shopping Center, Enid, Oklahoma. Billy, we go back to Clay and salvage what we can, and we make for the coast. Dr. Grant, we're not leaving this island without our son. Then you can go and look for him. Huh? You're not really a mercenary, are you? I never said I was. So, what do we do? We search for your son direction that they're going. Excellent, excellent. set a trap. They actually set a trap. are here. They're looking for you. You're Alan Grant. What are you doing here? Your parents, uh, invited me along. Be careful with that. T-Rex scares some of the smaller ones away, but it attracts one really big one with a fin. Listen. Copy! There's a boat, right alongside the bank. Looks in good shape. Listen. What? It's my dad's satellite phone. Mom! Dad! Dad! Mom! Eric! How did you know we were here? The phone! The stupid jingle from the store, I heard it! I don't have it. I loaned it to Nash. He must have had it when he... I 
took them on an impulse. I thought they'd be worth a fortune, enough to fund the dig site another ten more years. What if they catch us with them? What if they catch us without them? There's a boat at the bottom, just downriver. Try and make it to the coast, at least. What is it? It's a bird cage. for help. Any incidents? You got six kids in the lost and found, 28 down for heat, and some idiot tried to feed ice cream to a triceratops. Your assistant's online too. Zach and Gray are here. Tell her I'll be there in five. My sister's kids. Clean up your workspace. It's chaotic. How big is the island? <sighs> big. But how many pounds? That doesn't make sense. Come on! Hey, don't wander off, all right? Mom's not paying me for babysitting. Uh. Mm. 
Uncle Claire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zara here is going to take great care of you until I'm done working tonight, okay? Okay, so um, have fun and take very good care of them, okay? Ah. Mr. Mizrani, you are flying. I got my license. Okay, now show me my new dinosaur. It's white. You never told me it was white. The Indominus Rex, our first genetically modified hybrid. Oh, she's intelligent then. Oh, Indominus wasn't bred. She was designed. Bigger. Scarier. She'll be 50 feet long when fully grown. Bigger than the T-Rex. So the paddock is quite safe then? We have the best structural engineers in the world. Yeah, so did Hammond. There's an American Navy man here, Owen Grady. I know who he is. His animals often try to escape. They're smart. Yes, he's smart. You only think so smart. I want you to bring him in. Let him inspect the paddock. Maybe he sees something we can't. Oh, uh, heck! Sorry! Uh, it's stuck on one of the branches! <laughs> 